Right guys, um, so last night I tried measuring shit with my micrometers and my bore thingies um, and I wasn't very successful. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to use the numbers that are on the crankcase and the crankshaft. So these are the numbers on the crankshaft. I'll show you that by, if I can see it there look. So we've got two, 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 two. 1111 and this is the number on the crankcase 65554 which is where's it gone uh, two seconds because I had it a minute ago where the fucking hell has it gone now um, right just bear with us I've definitely got the number somewhere oh there so we got six five 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 four. Okay, so it's there. Look now in the manual, um, it says the number is upside down. So the J one, uh, I should have turned it this way actually. So the number's there. Look, a bloody oh, it's there. So I'm, I'm now upside down, I'm holding the camera upside down. So from right to left it says 65554. Five, so number one then will be the four, two, three and four will be five, and then number five will be the six. Right, so that's how we've got that. So what I'll do now is I will calculate what bearing size needs to be in there. So just two seconds while I get my book. Oh god, I'm sneezing like out here. Anyway, um, so we'll do number one first. So that's the chart I'm gonna have to refer to. Sorry, the sun's in the way. Um, those are the charts that I need to refer to. So. To get the sizes, you basically do subtraction. So, four for journal one, minus two for journal one, <coughs> equals two. So the number two on there, so for journal one, uh, journal one there, two is a pink and a black. <laughs> so pink and black. Number two is five, minus two is three. So three on there is a pink and brown. Number three, so general three is five, minus two is three, but this column is for journal three, so we need a three so that's a violet and brown. So violet and brown. So journal four, five minus two is three. So five minus two is three, so that's a pink and brown. <coughs> pink and brown. And then lastly, number five, six minus two is four. Oops. So that's a pink and green. Pink and green. Right, just give me two minutes while I have a look at these shells because I can see the colours on the shells. So two minutes. Right, so I'm one bearing short and it's the journal four. So the way I've done it, that's journal one, journal two, journal three, journal four, journal five. Um, I don't know if you can see this, but journal five is pink and green. And there we have, when it focuses in, we have a pink and a green. I don't know if you can see that or not. Let's just... I'll take it into light, see if you can see it any better in light. 
Um, I don't know if you can see that, but that's pink and that's green. And then, um, so the Journal 3, that's a violet and brown. So I don't know if you can, I don't know if this, like I say guys, my eyes are getting worse. So I don't know if that's violet and brown, but let's just take it into light. So it looks like a, bloody hell. Sorry guys, I don't, this isn't very good, is it? But that's looking like a, that's definitely a violet and a brown, is that? Um, so, I need to, I've got some more bearings, so I need another pink and brown for Journal 4. And these bearings, these are out of um, a case that I bought, in fact it was these actually. So we will just double check what those are. Right, as luck would have it, I actually found um, a set of pink and brown ones in in them in them others that I had. So that was good. So now we've got pink and black, pink and brown, violet and brown, pink and brown, and a pink and green. So one, two, three, four, five. So I'm going to put them in the thing. I've still ordered some plastic gauge, um, but um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get my little like pipe cleaner type things and just stick them down them holes before I put these in, and then uh, I'll show you when they're in. Right. So I've just temporarily put them in, in the casings and just put a couple of bolts in just to keep them together so I don't lose them or damage them. Um, and then the other spares from that other crankcase I'm going to just keep in my box of bits over there. Um, so that's pretty cool is that? I'm glad I've done that that way. Um, now the, uh, the, the, num the other numbers on the crank, sorry, uh, the 1111 is for the pistons, oops, so that's what they, them are for, uh, as you can see there, look, we've got P1, P2, P3 and P4, so, um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to, I've ordered some uh, thingy, uh, plastic gauge, and when that comes, sorry, I'm, I'm, I think I'm going to sneeze, I'm going to, when that comes, then what I'll do is, I'll, <laughs> oh god, I think this, uh, I don't know if I'm coming down with something, or I'm getting a bit of air fever or something, um, but anyway, <laughs> oh, excuse me, bloody hell, right, That'll do for today. As soon as the plastic gauge comes, I'll get the crank in, put a strip on, and we'll talk it down, and then we'll measure it that way. Bye.